Autothon just doesn't stop, so here we go. Today, we have Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa. Now, I believe that some of you were really, really looking forward to this set. Maybe because of Dirk Savage, voiced by Cummings, what's his name? Uh, uh very famous guy, if I forgot. Or, you were looking forward to Mona Lisa to have a nice little date for Raphael. You want to date your little dude to do, 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 do your toys. <laughs> Let's get into what we have going on today. So, college girl turned mutant salamander. Dirk Savage evil dude turned good by the end of the episode. So this is one that I actually looked up before I got into it. Mostly because I don't remember them at all. 100% out of my brain. And they have a lot of accessories that I don't know what's happening with. That's the other, that's the end of that sentence, with. So front of the box, we've got some nice artwork. And as I found out with the Bebop and Rocksteady, because on this box, look, part of his finger's missing. So I got on Twitter and wanted to reach out to Chris Rimo and see what the what the story was there. Uh, sometimes things, files just get screwed up by the people putting the package together. Apparently, these images are coming from Nickelodeon, Viacom, and all that stuff. And then these folks, this time, Travis Hasback, uh, they're just putting the, the images together on the packaging. So, not original art, unless otherwise stated. Front, obviously, we get these plastic windows. We've got some nice illustrations. All of these great accessories, and there's stuff hiding behind. So, even more stuff than what we see in the packaging. Now, with this stuff, since it's so just kind of repetitious on the packaging, I guess. You, you never get bios of the figures that are actually in there. It's always just the same crap for the Ninja Turtles. And then you don't get a list of what the accessories are, which is a bummer because they do list accessories on other packages. And I really appreciate that because sometimes, you know, you just don't, you don't know what it's called or what the heck it is. <laughs> but everything's pretty standard. You get a shot of a figure on each side. And then the bottom of it, you've get, you've get, on the bottom of it, you get all of the people involved from the packaging, prototypes, director, all that stuff. And on the back of it, some nice photos of the figures and stuff from previous releases. So this was like the Fall Geek Out from last year. And then these two are actually part of the Holothon. So interesting choice bringing those two into the mix, because I'm sure a lot of people can't find those now. But this is a line that never ends. So let's open it up. And this is another one that will be going to our friend friend of the channel friend, Frosty Reviews. So thank you again. Can't wait to check these out and then send them on over to you. And the inside of this one is actually a little different, which kind of makes sense because uh, Dirk is technically a bad guy at first, so he would maybe get the Technodrome. But look, that's pretty sweet. Nice little sewer entrance. All right, so there we go. We got everything out of the plastic. Whoops, and her extra head. <laughs> don't forget that. Now, we've got everything out of the plastic, and I don't know what everything is. We've got a chemistry set for her. We got books. We've got extra hands. We have her in her head. These definitely look like cuffs because he hunts mutants. I don't know what this is. Is this a chemistry thing for her, or is it something to do with mutants for him? I mean, it looks more his theme uh, I don't know. Somebody tell me, what is this? Why does this come out? Something's gotta go in there. I don't know. Anyway, you got his gun, you've got his holster, his other gun thing, and his extra hands. Now, with him, uh, cause I, I did like a little speed through in the episode, he's got a gun, I think this one, that shoots out a cable, looks like this, and he, and he captures people. Uh, so it would've been cool if he came with that. That's kind of a bummer. But I wish I knew what that was. <laughs> I didn't watch the episodes all the way through. Maybe I should have. Anyway, so here we go. We've got some great looking stuff. So let's get into the details. So I'm already a fan of this stuff because I like little bits and pieces to use for like props and to build little sets or whatever you want to do. But this, the quality is fantastic, man. <laughs> uh. I love this translucent plastics. It's just, it's working really, really well for it. Uh, obviously comes with a little stand, but you can hold it. Good if you want to do stuff with Donatello as well. These little beakers that are filled with stuff. Looking real nice. I wonder if it'll stand well because it is so small. I mean, things start to get too tiny and you can't really get them to stand. But the hole is just right there at the top, so it doesn't go all the way through. But the quality of this stuff, really nice. I mean, it's so tiny. And then this, 
it has like a little bendy straw thing so for the air to come out or whatever however science works <laughs> and look at that just another beautiful piece nicely done good chemistry sets her extra hands so she's got a couple fists because she does uh end up having to fight knock some people out and be an awesome fighter person i think she actually bests Raphael in a fight doesn't she uh her hands gripping for her beakers and books these hands which don't have the webbing in them which that's kind of interesting why why do these have the webbing in it is that something that just kind of activates when she needs it or whatever <laughs> so the books we've got they do not open oh it's a bummer so if you want to get smarter you're going to buy real books you can't read these that's physics baby <laughs> uh so they look nice good details on the pages i was kind of surprised that they put that much work into the into that um so nice nicely done we got the cuffs i'm pretty sure right definitely got to be cuffs that look like legit you're gonna put some mutants in these things but it's nice it's bendable whatever the heck this machine is but it looks good i like the details just another contraption to have to help build up your sets and you gotta love that it's that classic ninja turtles machinery look and, I, and i'm here for it uh so his gun which i don't know is this one is this the one that shoots the the thing or does it shoot lasers or does it do both i would think the red tip would make me think this is just like a laser based one his holster which i guess is gonna clip onto his side here but what's up with that we shall see we have this gun which looks like a little sawed off shotgun well details pretty standard i love the strap is also bendable his hands so he's got his uh trigger hands so you can do left or right hand which is nice sometimes you get a uh, trigger hand it's only on one side of the figure but then he's got his some gripping hands to do whatever his fists that are on him by default but let's look at his details so oh that holster goes on his back right through that cool i dig it stick it on there now after we look at details <laughs> dirk looking awesome the eye patch obviously his signature look to be menacing but i love it Look at this, the pads, the colors, it's just classic NECA at this point, man. Like, I, I don't think I've ever said anything bad about any of their animated stuff. It's just so good. Like, who's paying attention to these little details when putting it all together? Really, like, frame-by-frame -frame animations. I'm sure that they get, like, prototype sketches and concept art and all that to look at, as they did with the turtle van and a bunch of people complained. It's like, well, it's the most accurate turtle van ever. No, oh, we don't like it. Okay, well, let's ruin it, because now it looks dumb. It looks dumb now. It's flat topped. I hope you all are happy with what you've done. <laughs> but he looks awesome. So let's put this little gun holster thing on his back. Uh, phew, man. So all these little bits and pieces have to fall into these holes. So there's one right there. It's not glued in, which sometimes is the case with these figures. That looks like a little keyhole. So that obviously works like that. But what is up with this piece? I forgot this. It rolled off the table at <laughs> the edge of the uh, edge of the camera. This this is like, I don't know, cattle prod kind of thing that goes on here. Ha <laughs> ha! Only had to look it up on the Internet. Now, I do want to say that the holster on the back doesn't like easily accept anything like there's not a very clear layout for this to go. It's just a little too tight for anything to fit in there comfort comfortably. So I'm not 100% sure what is supposed to go in there and, and what that layout is supposed to be. A little bit frustrating, to be honest. You're gonna have to like probably scratch up some paint. That seems, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, sometimes I'm a total idiot and I just can't figure things out. But this little strap, apparently, it was just like because of the paint, I guess, and locked in there pretty good. But it does, the strap does come undone. So you can take whatever gun that you'd want to put in there, probably this one. But yeah, there's not a clear direction. See like how spread out that's getting by putting it in there. That's a little, uh, a little troubling trying to figure this out. So you can kind of find a sweet spot like right here where the bottom wants to lock in, but the top is too wide to make it work. And then the strap is just kind of, uh, kind of get it. Not the best build on that piece. Uh, so I don't know how I feel about it. This is the same way. It's just super wide. 
But once you kind of get in there and, you know, he's set up and propped, it's probably going to be fine. So anyway, let's look at her. Mona Lisa, her alternate head sculpt. Nice angry face. She was a chemist. There's a college student that was trying to save the environment and the world or whatever against some, I don't know, some, some stuff. <laughs> Watch the episode, because I didn't, apparently. The other head sculpt, she's happy. Yeah, Raphael's uh, telling her, I think you got it cute. It looks good. I, I like the color. I think that her center color piece is maybe a little lighter than it was in the cartoon. Wasn't this kind of a brighter yellow? I just watched it before I started this episode. Not all the way through, just skimmed it. But that seemed more like a brighter yellow. Anyway, I think details, again, fantastic. NECA is always bringing it. It's just wonderful. And I'm really, really impressed that there's double jointed elbows on these tiny, skinny arms. Like, what? And bicep rotation. She's got way more articulation than I would have expected, How, considering how skinny she is. So that's super cool. It's like hit or miss on whenever they put that kind of work into stuff. But hey, they did it this time. So let's look at articulation. We'll start with her. So the top of the head goes all the way around, even at the base of the neck, because that's what's turning technically right now. Uh, top of the head also spins around. She's just on some kind of standard ball joint. So looking down is actually pretty good. Looking up is uh, not not really. I mean, it moves, but then something's like forcing it back. So you can get that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, you can rock it just a tad. So then the arms will go up into a T-pose. You can rotate at the shoulder, of course. You can spin those things all the way around if you need to. And then you can get the biceps. And I really wouldn't be surprised if they make the human version of her. Because didn't they? Didn't somebody tease or possibly that Tiffany, the girl from like one of the early episodes that dates uh, Burn or whatever his name is. So nice articulation rotation there at the bicep. The elbows are double jointed as we discussed, which work really, really well. And then they can go a little bit beyond straight down. Not that you would need it. There's no rotation down that portion, which is fine. And then the wrist, which rotates all the way around. And then you have this uh, up 90 degrees bend works real well. Anything in that belt area? Yes, so she can rotate around. You can get some bending and some very slight crunch action, but it's better than nothing, which is nice. Uh, full split, so great range. Legs spin all the way around, those kind of classic neck of ball joints. Then we have double jointed knees, which work really well. There's no rotation anywhere down the leg, just at the upper half. So a, a little bit, uh, tough, but you can get the ankle to kind of twist if you need it to be flat, depending on the leg position. Uh, but going down with the foot is like perfect, and then going up is really nice. And then the tail, of course, we can see that there's some articulation there, just a standard basic ball joint, but it works pretty well. So the range is nice. You can get some pretty cool poses out of her, I'm sure. And then Dirk, his head goes all the way around at the base of the neck and at the top of the neck which is good. So two spots to rotate the, let's see, looking down with that big old Jay Leno chin. Uh, fantastic. And looking up is really good. We've got great side to side action. So he, he works really well in the head and neck area. So shoulders go straight out. Uh, his kind of Judge Dredd shoulder pads are going to stop his arms from getting too much action, but they are soft, so you can still get some good poses out of that. We got bicep rotation, which that's great. Double jointed elbows, love it. Thank you so much for those, uh, even if they are pins. So you can, yeah, very obviously see the pins in the arms, but you know, I'll take that for some double jointed elbows all day. We've got rotation here at the cuff, which is interesting choice. And you might as well, I guess, if you're gonna, if it's a whole different arm piece, rather than like a, a strap around the arm. This is a different piece of the arm. So then you got the rotation at the wrist and some 90 degree action on that wrist as well, which is awesome. So torso, you can see that obviously. He can spin up there, but because the shape is a little off, it's, it's gonna get a little tight. You can do some ab crunch a little bit and some sideways, just some basic movement, nothing too crazy. And then as we saw the rotation at the waistband, it's just a flat piece. We've got the legs that will spread, classic joints, spin all the way around there, kicking forward, forgot to do that. Yeah, obviously she kicks forward, didn't even need to do that. He kicks forward, 
backwards just uh, right stops at the butt cheeks pretty natural the rotation is the kind of the same as her so only at the hip there oh he's actually got it down there at the boot perfect double jointed knees perfect and the classic ankle rocker thing or whatever and does it go down yep and up is about right there so not not too bad at all digging the range they really haven't limited too many people on range in this for all these side characters which is great they could have they could have they could have but they didn't oh man sometimes this i don't know what i'm doing here what am i doing i don't know why are you watching this channel <laughs> all right so on to the best part of the show for me which takes forever but i love it posing All right, so there we are. This thing is a foot trap. So answered my own thing. Didn't, didn't need your comment, but thanks anyway. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, it's a foot trap. So that's it. And it would have like little electric things coming out of it. So whatever, do your thing. Have some fun with it. Cool. Glad I figured it out by looking it up on the internet. This thing, also the little court comes out. <laughs> it's like, wow, just the, <laughs> that's some great detail. Just gonna say, so if you are doing some props and photography or whatever, you can actually pop the cork out and have like some action shots pouring it, whatever. Big fan, love it. So let's talk about the details. Fantastic, classic, five out of five, no big deal. It's expected with this line, right? <laughs> you have to, and you have to agree. This stuff just always looks incredible. So that brings us to articulation. And you know what? I, these are just about perfect. The only thing I would've, want different on her is her head to go up it just doesn't and then a different head sculpt for him it's not really articulation but I, i'd want a face that looks a little more angry sometimes like you get with her so she's either happy or angry he's just always a little happy or cocky or whatever but i think i'll do it i think i'm gonna do it five out of five for both of them awesome job especially as skinny as her arms are it's just <laughs> she can do whatever you want it's awesome so that brings us to the posing segment, uh, ranking that, I guess that was a good time. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with these figures and obviously the articulation goes pretty well with the posing. So I guess whatever, what am I ranking? What does my ranking mean anymore? <laughs> five out of five, which brings us to the big question. Are they worth the 59.99 or 59.00? I don't know. How do they list it? Just $59? Doesn't matter, it's 60 bucks. So, <laughs> is it worth it? Um, yeah, I think so. Pretty clear, pretty safe to say. Some of you are probably just being really selective on the line. Totally understand it. I'm the same way. I really just like, I have, I have them and the turtles and that's pretty much it right now. Maybe I'll get some other stuff. I, I'm being really selective, but for people that are interested in, the, in collecting all of it, these things are fantastic. They're perfect, so get them. 60 bucks, I know, but again, that's $30 each, which is cheaper than you can buy any single figure from NECA at this point. So cool, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming along in this ride that we call Nostalgia Unboxed. I'm a, I'm a weirdo. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sometimes I'm just like, did, was this video any good? And here I am doing it. 
And I do want to say that if you like the artwork that's hanging up here, that's done by this guy. All my previous episodes in the past when I had stuff framed out, that's me. So look below this video. That's artwork you can buy from me. And you can get it in these magnets. You can get it in a 4x6 or in a big old 11x17 print. So check those out. Buy something you like. Don't just buy it because you want it. Wait. Yeah, buy it because you want it. <laughs> Don't just buy it because I said so. Buy it because you like it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you're enjoying the NECA TMNT stuff, then watch that video right there. I always tell you to watch another one. And who's doing it? Who's watching that video? It's a, oh, I got to get going. We'll see you next time.